Hi everyone, this is going to be a really quick video. I just wanted to make sure that you have received the notice that you need to download the new Cricut desktop app if you haven't already. If you are still accessing Cricut Design Space through your browser, meaning Chrome, uh, Safari, Firefox, uh, Explore, any kind of browser, and you're still getting into Design Space that way, you're no longer going to be able to do that sometime in January. They're going to discontinue the web browser and you're going to have to use the desktop app, which if you've been in the web browser, it should be prompting you to download this desktop app. Now what you're looking at here is the desktop app and I'm just going to go over a couple of things really quickly. As I'm perusing the groups, I'm seeing some things that people are assuming that aren't exactly correct. So here we are in Cricut Design Space a desktop app. You're going to notice at the top that it still says beta right here. Don't let that worry you. That's going to be going away. It's just called beta because they haven't officially made the full on switch, but that will be going away. You need to go ahead and download it. Any updates you're going to get automatically. So don't let that deter you from downloading this desktop app so that you can get prepared and ready to use this. So that's the first thing. Go ahead and download the desktop app that the web browser is telling you to download if you haven't already. The second thing I want to make sure that you know, I've seen a ton of concern about people not being able to operate multiple machines at once. And you absolutely can still mul operate multiple machines at the same time. All you're going to do is you can see I've got a project open right here. I have this one connected to my Cricut Maker and I can click make it and we can have this one cutting. In the meantime, all I have to do is go up to file, new window, and you're going to see that this is going to open another design space. And I can do this two or three times if I want and be working on several different projects. So I can click new project. I can click on images. And let's just click on this one and insert image. And I'm working on this one on my Cricut Explorer. So we'll change that to Cricut Explorer. So I can have this machine cutting on my Cricut Explorer and I've got this machine cutting on my maker. If I wanted to open another window, I would just click file new window and open another window. The other thing that I've seen are some people are assuming that you can no longer work online. You absolutely can. You can see I'm connected online right now. And that means I have access to the entire Cricut library over here, just like usual. Well, let's pull the library up, take it just a second to load. So I have all of my images here. I haven't downloaded all this to my desktop and that's perfectly fine. I can work online if I have an online connection. The beauty of it is if you don't have an online connection, you can still work. What you're going to need to do though, and we've gone through this before, let's go back to the canvas. Say I wanna work on this when I go to my crop later, I'm gonna cut this out and work with this project. So what I'm going to do is save it. And I'll just call this um, Snowbird. And I'm gonna click save. And it tells me it was saved. Now, you, in order to do that, you need to be online to save those images. So now that I have that saved, I can go back to, let's see, let's just go home. And my projects, it'll be right here. You can see it. All right, so all I have to do is click on the three dots right here, and I can click save for offline. So what that means is that I can now work on this offline and you can see I did the same thing here. Once you see this little box with the check, that means I've saved this to my computer and that's something that I will have access to when I'm offline. Now, if I'm offline, those are the only things I'm going to have access to. So you wanna keep that in mind, but let's go offline. So I'm gonna go up here to my internet connection. I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi off. And you can see it's going to give me a warning and tell me that I'm going offline. That's fine. I'm going to click on my project that I want to make. I'm going to click. And you can see I can go ahead and work with this. It's telling me I am offline, but I don't have to be offline. If I don't want to save all that stuff to my computer and I don't have a problem with my internet connection, I probably for myself will almost always still work online because I have access to all of my library. I don't have to worry about downloading and saving it to my computer, but if I wanted to, I could. 
So that is the beauty of the desktop app. The other thing is they're going to be able to streamline the updates. They're going to be able to take care of everything without everybody working in a different system um, formulation. As it is now, you know, some people are using Chrome, some people are using Safari, some people are using Firefox, and you know, Chrome puts out an update and then Cricut has to go do whatever they need to do to make their program work with the new Chrome update. And then, you know, a week later, maybe Safari's putting out an update or whatever. This is going to put everybody in the same playing field so that Cricut can make their updates and make their changes and everything's going to work much easier. So Again, the three things I wanted to make sure that you know is one, you need to go ahead and download that desktop app. The web browser is going to go away in January, sometime in January, probably the end of January. Um, the second thing is you can still work online. Don't worry about that. You don't have to download everything you own to your desktop. You can if you want, but you don't have to. And lastly, you can still operate multiple machines at the same time. So don't let this scare you. Don't let it worry you. This design space works very much like the web browser that you're familiar with. And you're going to see this get even better. So I think I'm really excited about it. I hope you're excited too. And it's been working absolutely fine for me. So. Go ahead and download that desktop app. I encourage you to start using it, start getting familiar with it and see what you think. And if you have any feedback, leave feedback to Cricut. Uh, if you have any problems, contact customer service. They'll happily work, you know, help you work through it. They need the feedback to find out if there are any bugs, but we've been testing it for quite a while. They've worked out almost everything, you know, that they had needed to. So it should be working pretty flawlessly for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing a more detailed in-depth video once they get everything officially turned over. And in the meantime, go ahead and download your desktop app. See you guys. Bye-bye.